rational and irrational numbers. In this chapter, now we will see properties of multiplication of a rational number. Properties of multiplication of a rational number. We have total five, five properties. Closure property, commutative property, associative property, multiplicative identity and multiplicative inverse. So existence of identity and existence of inverse. First we will see the closure property. So what closure property says we have seen previous topic addition of rational numbers. Now same properties will exist for multiplication also. A by B into C by D. Any two rational numbers if I multiply. The result also if it is a rational number then that is a closure property. A by B into C by D. A into C by B into D. This is also a rational number. So closure properties exist. Commutative property. Commutative property what it says if two rational numbers A by B I am taking as one rational number C by D is a rational number. When I multiply these two again if I multiply same rational numbers in either side. So first A by B into C by D and C by D into A by B. If both are same then it exists a commutative property. It's simple. Take 2 by 3 into 4 by 2. That is 8 by 6 because numerator and denominator are multiplied. Similarly, 4 by 2 into 2 by 3. Same 8 by 6 will come. Just any example if we take also is exist. Product of two rational numbers. When you interchange, if you multiply also, same, it should come same uh, result. See, associative property. In commutative property, is only two fractions. In associative, we will discuss with three fractions. That is, A by B, C by D, E by F. There are three fractions. First, these two you multiply, with the result you multiply the first one. That should be equals to A by B into C by D into E by F. So it exists associative property also. Second and third you multiply and multiply the first. That answer should be equal to first into second with multiply the third. So that is associative property. Now multiplicative identity. Existence of multiplicative identity. If a fraction is a by b, what we should multiply to this to get again same a by b? So obviously number 1. If I multiply with 1, for any fraction or any rational number, we will get the same. So 1 is the multiplicative identity for a rational number. Next you will see multiplicative inverse. A by B. What I should multiply to get number 1? For A by B, what I need to multiply to get number 1? So, reciprocal of A by B. That is B by A. If I multiply with B by A, then only we will get to only 1. So, multiplicative identity is 1. And multiplicative inverse is reciprocal of the rational number. Any rational number, its reciprocal is its multiplicative inverse. One is the multiplicative identity. Okay. These five are the properties of multiplication of rational numbers.